to check out a mall in Bremen. Only in Germany. video it is what's been going on around here just casual happening since the last video so i joined the local gym which i think is the best thing that i could have done for myself when we were in texas you know i was going consistently and feeling really good and i feel like just getting back into my routine that has really helped it's a little intimidating as a foreigner to get out and do stuff and to actually like make myself go explore the town by myself you know it's it's kind of scary what's funny is in the last video you know we were talking about how people don't small talk with strangers here and my first day in the gym i was by myself and lifting and three different people came up and started talking to me i feel like going to the gym like in the morning motivates me to get more stuff done later on in the day then or sometimes i just get really tired from it and then like take a nap <laughs> So I just got done doing a Zumba class for the first time. That thing was no joke because it's really hot right now. It's like 100 degrees this week in Germany. And it uh, there's no AC, no air conditioning. And they she blasted the music, so she had to shut all the windows. So it becomes like boiling in there which gives you a better workout I guess so I am definitely feeling it I need to go take a shower <laughs> sweating up a storm but it's good now I'm just sitting in the AC <laughs> and blasting the AC in my car okay if you want to guess how many blooms are on the orchid guess now because I'm going to show you okay so first of all <laughs> these guys got a little out of control they're supposed to do that though thanks to Instagram Okay, here is the full orchid. I think it is so beautiful and so full. Okay, do you want to guess how many there are? Okay, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Thirteen! This one was a sneaky one. I didn't even see it until recently, actually. I was like, what? Because this one was the last one to bloom, if you remember from my Instagram post. And it did, and then, sneaky little guy under there. And I have been painting some more. Sketched out is this. Okay, this is my progress so far. All right, so here's my finished painting. I styled it on this. There we have it. So I just got inspired and, you know, we have these really beautiful pink flowers out in our garden, which I have been calling our yard a garden, which is an extremely European thing to do. Dennis definitely got me onto that. And then, I don't know, like sometimes when you're talking to other Germans, like even in English, like they will, like they'll know what you're gonna say, but in my head I'm like, well, it's easier if I use this word. I'm gonna be making some seven layer salad for dinner and it's my mom's recipe. And I figured I would just chat as I am chopping some celery, which will be perfect for this hot weather. This next week is supposed to be a little bit cooler. It's supposed to rain and then hopefully be quite a bit cooler because I was just like unbearable and it's like hard because you don't want to get like an AC unit like even for your window for like three weeks total out of the entire year it's like is it really worth it the bacon frying up here here's my salad so far it's a bunch of veggies basically some lettuce celery green peppers it's supposed to have water chestnuts but we couldn't find those at the grocery store so it's without some Peas, frozen peas, sour cream, mayo, and uh, which is the sauce here. And then we're gonna put some bacon and cheese on top. All right, so here is the salad in final form before we dig into it. I only put bacon on half of it for now because we have half of a container of bacon for the other half tomorrow or whenever we eat the rest. Yum. 
layers. Furniture has been really hard to find. I was really eager to find some German pieces when we got here, you know, some pieces original to Germany that we wouldn't be able to find elsewhere. And I haven't been able to find any yet, but I'm keeping an open mind. And with the things that I've found so far, the price just doesn't seem to match the quality. Like in the US, there are a lot of sales that go on, like a lot of things where or you'll get a coupon. I'm always searching for good deals. So that's something here where I have found challenging. And I have some inspiration pieces that I would really like to find like items, which I haven't had any luck so far, but I'm gonna keep looking. My hair is like frizzing out. Just from the humidity and everything. Today we went to Mobile Islas. I really like this furniture store. So we got something for the office for organization, which I'll have to show you later once we put that together because it's not together yet. And then let me show you what we got for like the entryway. Here is our entrance. Here is our main door here. And then right here, I decided to put these new pieces. We got these at Mobile Islas. The plant is from Ikea, who had that already, which you may have seen in my Instagram posts. And then this is new, this trio here. This white piece, the wooden piece, and the lamp. And I really like the wood and the white. Can't go wrong there. And then I thought that this texture was really nice on here. And the dark complemented. The dark of the lamp brings out the dark in the wood here, you know? So. I thought it's really nice and we did debate they did have a gray one of this also and then they had a smaller one also the, of the white and the gray and we really thought that the contrast between this this wood texture and this was really really nice so we decided on the wood or on the white wood for this a lot of stores here have coffee shops in them like mobile Islas has like a big coffee shop but i think people like go meet up there just to grab a coffee so we too stopped for a coffee mid shop I like to take pictures of things like as we're going around. I like to take pictures of the items. Even then like when I go home sometimes I'll like look at a certain place in the house and be like, hmm, would this fit here? Like would this look nice? And sometimes I end up going back and picking it up. Okay, so since I'm feeling extra ambitious today, I am and we have five gross bananas <laughs> that need to be used. I don't even think that they'll last until tomorrow. What I'm going to do is try this new recipe of banana bread. So the thing about eggs in America, you're gonna find them in the refrigerated section because they've been pre-washed, which takes away like a film on the outside. But in Germany, you're gonna find them in the non-refrigerated section because they have not been washed. And somebody commented on one of my first videos, which is absolutely true that you oftentimes will find like feathers and chicken poo-poos and things like that on your eggs so you always must wash them ahead of time before using them these are really gooey really squishy banana Ooh, i like the feeling i'm just gonna squish them up it's just in a bowl with a fork all right fingers crossed the banana bread, they smell amazing. So let's hope that I didn't screw them up too bad and that they taste good. We shall see as soon as they're done cooling. The banana bread was so good. We ate it all. And the recipe called for coarse salt to be in it. And next time I'm not gonna put in coarse salt because the, it was just a little bit too big. Like I don't like being able to taste salt in it when I'm eating it, so. I'm gonna omit that and put in regular salt. I am gonna be recording another video. I have a concept idea down and look out for that soon. The weatherman did not lie. It is very cloudy. It has been raining on and off, but we needed it. Our grass was a little bit burned. We've been learning how to be homeowners a little bit more with having to take care of our yard, a bigger yard. And notice I said yard, pulling some big weeds. <laughs> We had like bean stalks growing out of like the perimeter of the yard. So I pulled those the other day. It's kind of fun, kind of rewarding to pull weeds like that. All right, y'all, that's all I have for you for now. But if you like this video and want to see more like it, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Cheers!